Hey, Facebook land. So I know it's getting late at night, at least for me, um, but I want to pop on real quick and do my video today. So today I thought I would talk about a little bit of rest and relaxation and oils. So I hear a lot of people say how they can't sleep at night or they have a hard time falling asleep, staying asleep. They can't turn their mind off. Just a thousand thoughts going a minute, all that type of stuff. And um, so there's a lot of oils that can really help with that. So depending on why you can't fall asleep or stay asleep is, would depend on what oil I would choose. Um, but one oil that, I, that is good for a lot of people is lavender. Uh, if you like floral scents, it would be a good one to use. It is known as kind of the Swiss army of essential oils because it has so many great benefits, which one of them includes resting, relaxing, sleeping, any of that type of stuff. Um, for any of younger kids, you could easily do a nice massage oil and massage, you know, your kids' backs and legs and arms before going to bed and just have that time of unwinding and relaxing before bed and it'll really help them fall asleep. And then you would also get the benefits of the lavender oil through giving them massages. If you just diffuse it at night, uh, you know, diffusing it half an hour before crawling into bed and then you can let it go for an hour complete, so half an hour after you're into bed um, is another nice way of using it. Having it uh, intermittent through the night also. I just wouldn't have it continuously going if it's um, either because your body doesn't need that. But an intermittent uh, would be a nice way of doing it. Um, having oils in your room at night is just very nice and calming and relaxing. Uh, like I said, lavender has, it's known as a Swiss army of oils. So it's not only really good for resting and relaxing, helping you sleep, but really good for bug bites, stings, any of that type of stuff. Um, I mentioned when I talked about tea tree, you can add the two of them together and it makes it really good for if there's any kind of mosquitoes or things like that, or spiders or bees or any of that type of stuff that have found your skin nice and juicy. Um, also, if you have any kind of minor burns, really good uh, to put that on your skin or wherever the burn is, applying it on. Um, deodorizing, cleaning, carpets, mattresses, couches, any of that type of stuff. Getting some baking soda. And what you can do is just with the uh, just a little canning jar, little glass jar, and on the top with a nail, just puncture some holes in it. Fill it with baking soda. Add about 15 drops of lavender. Mix it up so that it's really combined in together. And then sprinkle that over your mattress, over your carpets, over your couches, any of that type of stuff in your cars, vans, any of that type of thing. And let it sit for half an hour. And then you can vacuum it up. Okay? And that'll really help deodorize anything that has been festering into the carpet fibers or any of that type of thing. Uh, really good for any kind of skin conditions, any kind of redness, bumpiness, any of that type of stuff. It's really, really good. There's so many different things that lavender can help with. Um, it's gentle for babies, um, really good for second trimester on in pregnancy, and all that type of stuff. Um, so try it out for sleeping. Um, if lavender doesn't work for sleep, there's a lot of other ones that do work. I'm not overly keen on florals. Um, I much prefer, I'm a very, I'm a woodsy girl. Um, I love my woods. So vetiver and cedarwood are actually my two favorites for sleeping at night. And then if I really want a powerhouse, I'll add in a sandalwood also. Um, so three very strong base wood scents. Um, kind of just knock me right out. So those are my go-tos for sleep typically, uh, but most people are not fans of sleeping in mulch because that's pretty much what it smells like. Um, so most people will like the lavender. Another really good one for sleep is also sometimes it's because we're not getting enough oxygen into our body. If that's the case, we need to be opening up our airways. Uh, so something like Easy Air Breathe would be a really good option. And this is also fantastic to diffuse at night if you have a bedmate that makes a lot of noise and you're used to kicking them or elbowing them or moving 
a lot throughout the bed to kind of wake them up to stop them from making all that noise. Um, the easy air will really help open up their airways and stop that from happening also. Uh, so those are a few tips on what oils you can help for some rest and relaxation. Now there is also a lot of other things that you can use that aren't oils that you need to look at also. So don't think that oils are the only option. You need to be looking at your food. What are you eating? What are you doing just before bed? So watching the computer just before bed doing videos is not always the best thing to be doing to get a relaxful um, night of sleep because the blue light really stimulates our brain and we can't turn it off as easily. So you want to be avoiding actually all screen time or any of that type of stuff before going to bed or getting glasses that block the blue light can really help also. Making sure that you eat enough throughout the day, drinking a lot of water, increasing your magnesium are all really good ways also to help you sleep at night. Um, it is one that I have a lot of people asking me on how to improve their sleep. So those are some other really great tips that you should be including along with the oils. So hope everyone has a great night. I know it's almost 10 o'clock, which is my bedtime pretty much. And I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye.